All right, welcome back for uh, test two. Um, this time I have embedded the, uh, the probe into the wick. Um, basically just built the probe, tested it, um, glass of ice water. The reading I got was 10 degrees lower than what um, it should have been because we know how cold a glass of ice water is supposed to be. And so whatever reading that we get from this, um, you got to add 10 degrees more to it in order to um, get an accurate, an accurate reading from this. Um, basically, the, uh, the um, you know, leads obviously connected to the meter via the cables. You know, right now it's reading 0 0.01, so we are going to go ahead and uh, test fire the... Uh, 2.5 ohm coil at 4.5 volts. I believe it should be set to 4.5 volts. Let's see here, to wake it up. Uh, 4.5. Kind of hard for you to see, but you get the idea. And um, meter still reading 0 0.01, which is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my e-liquid here and give it a couple, couple extra drops just to make sure we're not drying this bad boy out here too much. Make sure that soaks in there. You know the uh, the probe itself is you know maybe a millimeter wide, so I don't think that's going to cause many wicking issues um, for the coil. And uh, you know there's this whole whole other side over here that uh, isn't you know doesn't have anything in it, so I'm sure that uh, you know it's getting plenty of juice. It's not going to be an issue with the dry burning or anything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire this while I blow on it. 2.5 ohm coil at 4.5 volts. And let's see how this goes here. So 5.5, 5.4, 3. As you can see, it retains some heat, but it does dissipate pretty fast. It'll uh, it'll dissipate, and then it will uh, it'll go back to like 0.1 or whatever it was at. Five point three. Okay. So um, it it just it just looks like the uh, the wick is getting a little bit singed up there towards the top. I don't know if you can see that from the camera here, but a little bit singed. And I don't know why exactly that is. I mean, I coated the crap out of this thing here. So let's coat it again. Interesting. You know, the, uh, the, the core temp is obviously going to be lower than the surface where the, uh, you know, all, all of that um, thermal energy is being transmitted to the, to the juice and to the top layer of wick first. So whatever you see in the core temp, um, it's got to be higher than that on the surface where the wire's at. It's, uh, you know, just, it's just is what it is. Um, not entirely sure what's going on with the wick, though, and why it's burning. It's kind of take my, uh, my little magnifying glass to it here. Don't know if you can really see that. Man, this thing's dirty. Jeez. 
Uh, I might throw this under the uh, the 30x loop later, and that way we can get a better idea of what exactly that is. All right. 